So I was an investigative reporter for 23 years, and today what I'm going to be talking to you about is making an impact with video branding. Because in my job as an investigative reporter, what I had to do was not only brand myself, but brand my stories every single day. I had to tell people, why do you want to watch this story? Why should you stay up till 11 p.m.? And why in specific do you want to watch me? So it was all about branding. In that time, I won three separate Emmys for my work as an investigative investigative reporter. And if you don't recognize me, that's okay. My feelings don't get hurt easily. But I thought that I would bring a couple of quick clips of videos that would maybe help jog your memory. Like this time when we chased down a food pantry worker who we caught him on camera stealing food that was meant for the needy. Thus, hot on his heels, he fled for the freezer. What are you putting out there? Uh, just oh, give me a minute. Lucan's trying to shove us and slam the freezer door shut, but not before we saw him dumping the cold, hard proof. The shrimp that I just yeah, saw you up. putting in there. All right, well, we'll take a look. This is what I just saw him dump. Can you see? Bags of shrimp. Three bags of shrimp. Or if my expose into frozen shrimp didn't catch your eye, maybe you saw this one where I was chasing down a grave digger accused of losing multiple bodies at a Philadelphia cemetery. Where's her body? You told the family that you were going to have to dig up graves to find her body. How many graves did you have to dig up? So you may still have absolutely no idea who I am, and that's okay. But I built my brand off of being a hard-hitting, no BS taking, I will chase you down in my high heels investigative reporter. And building that brand was so successful for me that I was recruited to launch investigative teams at three different stations across the country, including here at WPVI, the powerhouse station 6ABC. And I I never even applied for that job. They found me. A lot of people on TV have agents. I have never had an agent, never paid 10% because I believe that you are the best person to brand and to sell yourself. So let's talk about branding. I think that's especially true in your business because look at you. Look at all of the people in the room, all the people who are realtors in Philadelphia. You need to brand yourself. And one of the important elements of this is an elevator pitch. So I wanted to ask, how many of you know what an elevator pitch is, if you can show your hands? Okay, a decent amount. How many of you actually have and practice an elevator pitch? Okay, a lot fewer hands. How many of you would be willing to come up here and give your elevator pitch in front of this group. Okay, so that shows you I saw no hands there. But that's a problem because you need to be able to pitch yourself in any situation. You are branding yourself and as a realtor, your company is you. So, in terms of an elevator pitch, I'm gonna quickly go through the elements. The first thing is, don't memorize it. You want something that you can use no matter what the situation is. If you're dropping your kids off at a pizza party, if you're at a networking event, if friends introduce you to somebody. So something that is fluid, and no matter what the situation is, you can mold it to that situation. The second thing is, make it personal. Let's face it, people don't like to hear you talk about yourself nonstop. What do they want? They want to engage with you. They want you to ask them questions. And I think in your business, you have a really easy way to make it personal for the people that you're talking to. There's a simple question. So where do you live? How long have you lived there? You get the people talking about themselves. And then the next thing is to tell a personal story. There is a saying, facts tell, stories sell. People remember the stories that you tell them. So maybe it's, oh, you live in Wynwood? I have a client, just sold, them a house, or just sold their house for $1.2 million. And the interesting thing is, five years ago, they just bought it for $800,000. So what are the stories that you can tell? that can make you relate to that person. Maybe it's that you have kids in the same school district, but somehow to tell a personal story so that you're engaging with that person. The next thing is what are you selling that they need? So what you're selling is the opportunity to make money. So you need to hit home on what can you provide these people 
that they need. If they're buying, maybe it's, well, you're not going to rent anymore, and so you're going to save that money. It's a great seller's market right now. I could help you potentially make money on your home. So what are you selling that they need? And the most important thing, what are you uniquely qualified to do that will help this person? So maybe it is, you know what? I dominate the Wynwood area. My company, we have the most sales in that area. Or I have clients in that area that are looking for homes right now. Maybe I can help you because I have those clients. Or maybe you're a marketing maven. So what is it that you are uniquely qualified to do that separates you from everybody else in this room? And you need to make sure that you're pitching that. And the final thing is the close or the ask. How are you going to make that sale? Again, there are soft closes, there are hard closes, but something that's really easy to do would be to say to somebody, you know what, let me get your card and follow up with you. It doesn't hurt to run the numbers. Maybe I'll, I can run the numbers on your house and see what it might be worth. Maybe you're not ready to sell right now, but maybe in five years you may be. So let's start that conversation. And that's somebody who may become a client five years down the road. So now you've got this awesome pitch. You're confident. You should have practiced it. Remember that point, practice, practice, practice. You practice that pitch. You can go into any environment with it. But here's the catch. This right here is invaluable. One-on-one -on -one FaceTime, networking with people one-on-one. -on -one. But we don't have all that time. The one thing that you will never get more of is your time. And that makes your time invaluable. So what are we going to do? We need to meet clients where they're at. And this is how. Hi, I'm Lila Rushton and I'm a realtor at Keller Williams Realty. Keller Williams was voted the happiest place to work for by Forbes magazine, and that's a mantra that I live by. The people I work with are an extended part of my family and I want my clients to feel the same way. My priority is to find my clients a house that they will love and a place that they can call home. I genuinely care about my client's best interest. I treat my first time home buyers like they were my own children and think would I want my son or daughter to live here and I put myself in my client's shoes. I work with a lot of empty nesters and treat them as if they were my own friends and think about where they would like to begin the next chapter of their lives. I'm a Philadelphia native, born and raised. In my free time, you'll often find me at SoulCycle, exploring new restaurants in the city, or in my neighborhood by the Art Museum. I love this city. My many years of living here have given me a deep understanding of all the unique characteristics of the many different neighborhoods in Philadelphia. That understanding helps me guide you as we make the right choice for you and your family together. The way I approach real estate is as a team effort. I'll never stop working until we find you your dream home. Let me put my two decades of experience to work for you. So what did we just learn about Lila? Lila treats her clients like they're her family. She has 20 years of experience in this industry. And more than that, you felt a personal connection to who Lila was watching that video. And that's the most important thing about video. Video creates an instant connection between you and potential clients. It's not just the voice on the end of the phone. It's not just a name at the bottom of a signature. You get to see and hear from somebody and get a, get a feeling for who that person is. Is it somebody you would want to work with? Is it somebody you would want to have a drink with? How can you connect with that person? Video creates that connection. The second thing is it gets you to meet clients where they are at. Every single one of us spends our days in front of a computer or on our cell phones. So with video, you can push that out. We're going to talk about that in a second. So that you're meeting clients in that space while they're on their computers. You're actually gaining a connection with them there. But this is the most important part. Video is a marketing monster. Let's look at some of the statistics. In 2016, 72% of all internet consumed was video. By 2021, that number will jump to 82%. Now think about that. That means by 2021, 
Only 18% of the time that people are on the internet will they be reading or looking at pictures. 82% of the time, what they are going to be watching is video. And what that means for you is video is an absolute must for anyone or any business that is marketing itself. Let's take a look at how we could use this. Social media. Video ranks higher in algorithms, whether it's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on LinkedIn. Those social media websites and those platforms know that what the consumers want is video. And so what they do is they play video more often than they would if it was just a picture or words. In fact, video generates 1,200% more shares than text and pictures alone. They know people want to watch video, we're gonna rank it higher. And this statistic, more than five billion, five billion videos are watched each day on Facebook. 82% of Twitter users watch videos. Here's an example from my own life. I was at a conference and it was a pretty important conference about cancer research, shared some pictures, some text. I got 814 people that were reached, pretty good. Just started building up my work business Facebook again. At this point had about 350 followers. To get 814 people reached, I thought that was pretty good. But then I posted my video business card. There were 6,392 people reached from one post with video. 4,000 nearly, 3,944 people viewed the video, 427 reactions. People were sharing the video, they were watching the video. Facebook was sharing that video. It shows you the exponential benefit of having and posting video. Another place is on websites. I use my video business card in place of my about me on a bio page, and here's why. Because in order to have, in order to get what they call above the fold on the first page of search results, you have to have video on your website. It's not an option. If you look at these statistics, videos are 53% more likely to generate first page rankings than typical search engine optimization techniques. People pay lots of money to have companies come in and embed words on their websites and little tr tricks of the trade to try to get, if somebody said, Philadelphia Realtor and search that, who's gonna come up first? Well, that's through search engine optimization, but video is your best way to get there fastest. You have to have it. Here's part of the reason why. Google paid $1.65 billion for YouTube. So don't you think that they want people to be watching videos? They know that people are watching videos. That's why they bought YouTube. And they are gonna reward people who are putting YouTube videos, their sister company, on their websites. You put a YouTube video on your website, you know what? Your Google ranking is gonna start going up. In fact, YouTube, some of us older people may have thought that YouTube was dying. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. And that's because of the popularity of video that we're seeing right now. Every minute, 300 hours of video is uploaded onto YouTube, every single minute. So another way you could use it, in your email signature, and this is what I recommend for my clients, and this is what I do myself. We talked about how video creates a personal connection with the person. Somebody calls the office, maybe you get a cold lead that way. They have a question about you. So you send them an email, you send them a response. Information about the realtor, their contact information, click on the image below. And when somebody does, this is what happens. My name is Caitlin Beck. Three and a half years ago, I moved back from New York City to Philadelphia to pursue my dream of becoming a real estate agent. What brought me back to Philadelphia is there's always something to do. I love running the trails, walking my dog, and especially the diversity of the restaurants. I love Philadelphia. What I bring to the table, aside from being an agent with Keller Williams, the number one brokerage in the world, is my social media expertise. From Facebook to Instagram, my goal is to make sure that your property is seen and sold. My favorite part about being a realtor is building that one-on-one -on -one connection with my clients. 
Having that trust in place not only allows the process to go smoother, it lets us have fun along the way. I look forward to building that connection with you. So talk about a great way to stand out from your competition and get the edge above your competition. Somebody emails you, they then get to see who is this person and you build that personal bond. Now next I wanna talk a little bit about the process and to do that I'm gonna have one of your team members, Lila, come up and tell you what it's like to work with my team at Philly Power Media making a video for yourself. Hi everybody. Um, first I want to tell you I had a really good time making this video and um, I just want to explain the process because I had no idea how it, wor it would work either. Um, I had tried to make other videos and just like fumbled. I tried to memorize, I didn't remember my lines, I just it didn't make any sense. So um, initially I met with Wendy um, for coffee and we talked about who I am and what's important to me. She took notes, um, she got to know who I am. Um, a day later, she came up with um, what she thought I should say on the video. So it's not like you have to come up with these ideas yourself. Wendy's here to work with you to establish your brand and to establish what you want to say on your video. Um, next, um, the day of the video, I was really surprised about how professional it was. Wendy came with a lighting crew and a camera crew and an extra because I needed an extra for the video, um, which was amazing. So she took, all, you know, she made my uh, mind at ease. I didn't have to worry about anything and I certainly didn't have to memorize any lines. Um, it was pretty neat. Um, she used two cameras so we could um, edit the film so it looked correct. So there was a camera over here and one in front of me so um, she fed me my lines. Like we did one line at a time. Like you couldn't tell that by watching the video but all this, none of this was memorized. It was all just one line at a time from different angles so that they could edit it together. And um, I have to tell you that since posting my video, I think it's less than two weeks ago, um, I've had over 5,000 views. Um, I've had a lot of new friend requests. Um, and I've had some people uh, reach out, especially on LinkedIn. LinkedIn was something I really wasn't utilizing. Um, I've had people reach out on LinkedIn. I had Forbes magazine reach out to me yesterday to ask me how I felt about Fizbo's. I mean, different things are happening, and um, I know that I need to stand out of the crowd. I've been feeling like a dinosaur, and that my social media uh, presence was not good enough. And with this video, I think that's going to make a big change. All right. Yeah. Well, Thanks, Lila. And quickly, we'll wrap this up. I know it's been a long meeting. But what Lila said is correct. And that is, I was a journalist for 23 years. And again, my specialty is branding. So I don't expect people to know what to say. I help you with your script and help you learn what to say and walk you through the process from A to Z. So the bottom line is that everybody in this room, I think, would agree that video is a must. Video is important and it isn't an option any longer. To compete in today's world, you have to have video. The question now is what are you going to do to invest in yourself and your personal brand and stand out and get that edge above the competition. Caitlin Beck, who we showed you hers, she got seven clients after posting that one video business card across several different kinds of social media. So if you think about it this way in terms of a return on investment, if you have one home you sell, one home for $400,000, and let's say for round numbers, you have a 3%, 3% uh, commission on that. That's a commission of $12,000. Realistically, what we're asking you guys to do is think about yourself, your own business, and your personal brand and what that is worth to you.